video and in today's episode I am here in Ilocos to show you some of the beautiful destinations that you should visit. Alright, so let's go! One of the top tourist destinations in the country. Ilocos is known for its rich history, mesmerizing landscapes, and gastronomic dishes. I'll tour you around Ilocos Norte first. Hawaii Church This building is declared as a national cultural treasure and a UNESCO World Heritage Site under the Baroque Churches of the Philippines. It has a unique facade in the front and a three-story coral bell tower that is constructed separately from the church. Malacanang of the North This was the official residence of the family of Ferdinand Marcos back when he was the president of the Philippines. Now, the place has been turned into a museum featuring the former life of the Marcuses and the highlights of the Marcus Presidency. Sinking Bell Tower Considered one of Lawag's famous landmarks, it is a century-old 45-meter bell tower built by Agustinian friars. Hawaii Sand Dunes Here you can get a chance to ride a 4x4 truck while exploring the sand dunes. We all thought this was nothing. Until, well, this happened. This was such a thrilling adventure, but there's more! After the 4x4 ride, you can go sandboarding. <coughs> Bangi Wind Farm Ilocos is popular for promoting sustainable energy through windmills. The iconic Bangi Wind Farm supplies around 40% of the province's electricity. Here, the windmills are arranged on a single row, stretching along a 9-kilometer shoreline of Bangi Bay. Burgos Wind Farm This is the second wind farm built in Ilocos and is considered to be the largest project of its kind in the Philippines. While admiring the sights of these huge windmills, we venture towards Kapokorawan rock formations. Now, Kapokorawan means white. The whitest rock formation here in Ilocos. And there are two ways for you to explore the area. You can either walk or you can rent a horse. But guys, I want you guys to work out, so please walk. Patapad Viaduct. This bridge is considered to be the fifth longest bridge in the Philippines. Did you know that this is so close to Taiwan that you're able to get radio signal from that country at night? Bantai Abot Cave which means a mountain with a hole. This cave, which was once a hill, was formed in 1980s when an earthquake struck the place. You have to watch out because the waves tend to be strong when it goes high tide. Going through the cave, you have to go through that. Pagudpod Long Beach Blue Lagoon This is quite a popular long beach with gorgeous waves, hence there are a lot of people around the area. Here's a bonus stop if you have time. We visited a hut where iodized salt is made. Yung pagluluto nila, ito yung ginagamit yung ipa. Tapos binoboil nila ito ng 17 hours. Actually, ito na yung finished product na tinatawag. Museo ni Juan at Antonio Luna. This was the Luna's ancestral house turned into a museum to commemorate the Luna brothers. There is one Luna talking in this room. You have to see it for yourself. Following of national colors in time of peace, when everything was quiet and the table was ready. I would only want a bit of consistency. Somewhat reasonable. After all these adventures and sightseeing in Alocas Norte, you have to treat your hungry stomachs with some of the popular foods around the place. Ilocos Empanada Alright, so we are going to be trying out the special empanada here in Ilocos. Now, what makes this special is that it has longanisa, egg, papaya, 
mango sprout. And what makes the color of the wrapping here is the ingredient anato. Bagnet Hopia. If you know that bagnet is one of Iloko's specialty, then you should try this unique snack. I find this such a creative snack because they were able to put their popular bug net into a common pastry. Pinakbet Pizza. I like how Ilocanos tend to be very creative and make their dishes with a twist. Their pizza is a must try and good for people who are vegetarians. Ilocana Lutong Bahay. Now, I don't usually vouch so much on food, but I have to say, Ilocano viands have their unique appeal. Their dishes are simple but delicious. Mapapakain ka talaga. Dragon fruit products. Another destination that you guys should not miss is Ref Mad Farms. This is the first plantation that features dragon fruit farming here in Region 1. We got to visit Ref Mad Dragon Fruit Plantation and met the owner of this large farm. Uh, dragon fruit is actually uh, called the miracle fruit because it has a lot of benefits. It's actually called the king of fruits. It's good for hypertension, so you don't have to really just take in all medicines, medicines, medicines. You can take your dragon fruits and that is it. We have called it already the vine of life because from the roots up to the dried flowers, we can make use of everything. These are the products na binabalik balikan po. We have the ice cream, we have the wine, we have the Shanghai, and of course we have the fruits. Binabalik balikan po yon. That's why uh, uh, seldom na talagang wala pong napunta dito na hindi talaga nakaka food taste ng amin mga produkto po. For our stay, we chose La Via. They have rooms that can accommodate couples to large groups, and they also serve free breakfast. That's it for now for Ilocos Norte. Next up, Ilocos Sur. Here, we also went on a food trip. You may also want to bring these home as pasalubong for your loved ones. Longanisa, Sukang Iloko, Bawang, Cornic, Bagnet. Bale, ang pagluluto ng bagnet, paano prosesyo? Yung pagkatay na yung babo, hiwain ng hiwang malalaki, and then iluluto siya sa mainit na tubig, pulo yun, iahon uli, tapos pag uh, naahon na, iluluto ulit sa manteca. And then yung manteca, pag medyo lumubog na siya, medyo kumulo na, at medyo turns brown na yung meat natin, yun na yung lechon kawali. Iahon namin uli siya. Ang pag -re -re lang para maibalik ang lutong mga 5 minutes to 6 minutes lang para hindi siya masyadong masunod. Yun na yung pag 5 minutes, 6 minutes na siya, iahon mo, crunchy na yan. Yun na yung bagnet namin na pinagyayabang namin dito sa Ilocos. And also Lutong Bahay at Hidden Garden. Here, they not only serve some delicious and fresh foods, but they also have a garden hidden at the back. Pagburnayan. Its name comes from the root word burnay, referring to the handcrafted pots. Ani yung ghost na movie that has a romantic feel to it? Ghost. Ready to Oh wow. Not bad for my first try. I'm proud. <laughs> Balwarte ni Chavit Singson. This is an interactive wildlife sanctuary where you can get a chance to encounter some interesting animals. Bantai Bell Tower. This served as the town's watchtower before being turned into a bell tower by a nearby church in 1857. It has looked over the town of both Bantay and Vegan for centuries. Calle Crisologo Named after Marcelino Mena Crisologo, this street takes you back to some ancestral Spanish-style homes that perfectly represented how elegant yet simple they lived back in the day. What I noticed about Ilocos in general is that they know how to keep things in order. I mean, for a popular destination, it's quite clean for me and there's not much trash. And they know how to maintain the popular destinations so that more and more tourists can come here. What I like about the tour itself is that they know how to bring you closer to the locals. I mean, 
sure, it's fun to go to destination to destination to another destination. But for me, as a travel vlogger, I like to be immersed yeah. by the culture and know more about the locals and their stories. Alrighty guys, I do hope you enjoyed watching the destinations and foods that I have featured here in Ilocos. And I hope you get to experience these yourself. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. If you guys want to be updated in my next vlog venture, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram account, and like my Facebook page. This is Joe Serrano signing out, and I will see you in my next vlog venture. See you guys!